recently went on a San Francisco shopping trip and the city is like my favorite place to shop. It is so much fun. It's like the hustle and bustle is great. If you guys are ever in San Francisco, I definitely recommend going shopping in Union Square. It's definitely like a quintessential American experience. We actually had um, a kid staying with us who's Austrian, so <laughs> we had to do the quintessential American things, which meant I gotta go shopping in San Francisco. But yeah, I'm going to do a haul on everything I've got from San Francisco and yeah. So yeah, I'm going to be doing a haul because you guys seem to really like hauls and as far as the feedback I get, everyone says they want me to keep doing hauls. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. I did Forever 21, which is quite surprising because recently Forever 21 has not been the bee's knees for me. Um, it just has not been looking that fresh. It hasn't been that cute, but I found two really cute things. The first one is a scarf. Oh, it's just like a, like a lavender purple scarf with tassels and this was super cheap if I remember right. Yeah, it was $5.50, so my best friend and I got matching ones of these, but it's not cute for spring and summer. I've been loving summer scarves, which bring back really bad memories of my semi-homosexual ex-boyfriend. But um, it's just really cute, and I thought that was perfect, and I don't know, I really love wearing scarves in the summertime recently. And the next thing I got are these shorts, which are just acid wash high-waisted shorts. I have these in a non-high-waisted version, and they're really, 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 really comfortable. And then they came out with a high-waisted version. And I was like, hey, I like those too. But um, yeah, they're cute. Um, they, I'm a huge fan of them. I actually really like them. Uh, Forever 21 shorts, I'm a huge fan of typically, just because there's so much stretch in them that I feel like they're really comfortable. And these were only $19.80. So next I went to Sephora and I actually picked up hair products, which I've never bought from Sephora before. I typically go to Sephora exclusively for makeup. I've never really bought anything else from Sephora. I don't really get anything besides makeup there. But I have a, a lot of makeup. I don't need any more makeup. And I was browsing around the hair care section and um, I saw this. And this has, I've heard about this so much and I've looked at reviews online. It's the Oscar Blondie Dry Shampoo. And this was a mini size. It was like $11. So that's pretty pricey for a small size. It's supposed to be like just like baby powder, except it works better from the reviews I've read. And the guy who was working there said he would not recommend this to anyone who had hair darker than mine because I'm obviously blonde, so like the white is really not going to show up that bad. But they have like a clear invisible one too. But I thought I would just try this. Um, I ran out of my actual like my suave one, and they don't sell the suave one at my uh, drugstore at home. They only sell the one near school, so I like kind of need a new dry shampoo. So I thought I would try this out. It's just a mini size, but I'm excited to see what that is like. It's supposed to be like amazing. And then I saw this, and I've been hearing about this forever. As you can see, I am a curly haired person. So I am always striving to find the best hair products. Uh, I have um, highlighted curly hair, so it is color treated and it is naturally curly. So I'm always on the hunt for good products. I used to be really into drugstore hair products, but I recently have been kind of straying away from that just because a lot of things in drugstore have sulfate and sulfate is really, it really is not good for any hair in general. It's especially bad for color treated hair and especially bad for curly hair. And so I was looking for something that I could try that I wouldn't have to have a huge commitment to because things at Sephora like hair care products tend to be pretty pricey. And I tweeted you guys all picture this and all of my curly haired girls on Twitter recommended this. And this is the, I don't even know how you say it. Oi Dodd. Oi Dodd. We dod, ooh we dod, something like that. But it is their Curl Essentials Travel Kit. And this has gotten rave, rave, rave reviews everywhere. It's basically like a hair care system. So not only are they products, but they tell you how to specifically use each product. And there's a whole step thing that goes with it. But there's four products. The first one is the Clear and Gentle Essentially da Essential Daily Shampoo. There is the Essential Daily Conditioner. The heat and humidity gel, which it doesn't get humid in California, but it does get hot here. And the Botanical Boost Moisturizer Infusi Moisture Infusing Refreshing Spray. So I was pretty darn sold on that as soon as I saw this little pamphlet. Do they have the picture here? Yeah. This little pamphlet, and I saw this girl's hair. It basically has a whole bunch of people with curly hair, but typically when people think of curly hair, they think of tight cork ringlets. And because my hair's long, my hair doesn't do that. If my hair was short, it would do that. But um, it was nice because they have all different curly hair textures in here, which really was like, oh, Megan, you can definitely use this because um, I don't style my hair to be set ex exceptionally curly. I kind of make it uh, have a cut that makes it more wavy. And yeah, I don't know. This is just perfect. So I definitely am really excited to try it. So that was like 25, 26, something like that. 
and I thought it was pretty freaking good because the products are like actually like large enough travel size and I do a lot of traveling and I'm going to be doing even more traveling so I thought that was really good and it came in a cute little bag. Next I went to American Eagle and I have a really funny story about what I got. So we're at American Eagle and I hold these up and I went with my two best friends Sydney and Jerry. Um, if you guys have been watching me for a while you've seen them in tons of videos. Um, but I like up, held up these pants and Sydney was like those are the hairiest pants ever ever seen and she just went on this long rant before I even could get out a word like I was like I was going to say like I love these and she went on about how hideous they were so like they just put them back but then um I, I could do shopping a little bit afterwards um uh, by myself and then I bought them so it's totally fine if these aren't your style my best friend doesn't like these these aren't her style but um they're they're just my favorite things but I am obsessed with these they are jeggings they're white jeggings with blue flowers which when I say it out loud it sounds really hideous but I think they're so freaking freaking cute I love them Air American Eagle jeggings are my actual favorite kinds favorite kind of pants to wear at all like they're my I love 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 their jeggings I have the coral ones and now I have these ones too these broke my one of my only fashion rules which is nothing trendy over $50 I broke that rule I didn't break it by that much these were $59, but I, I just have such a hard time spending copious amounts of money on something that is going to be in and out in a season, or if it's like a fleeting thing, like, oh, I like that now, but I, I can't guarantee anyone I'm going to like these in a year. But I just love them so much now that these were the only ones I really found that looked very good on. So definitely let me know if you want, like, how to style floral pants video. I think it'd be cool because... As much as some people kind of like stray away and think they're a little weird, I definitely think there is a way to wear these. That's just kind of very simple and easy and very cute. The last place I went was J. Crew, and uh, let's grab these. I got two green things. So I first thing I got from J. Crew was this belt, and it's just like a rope, minty, and white braided belt with little tassels, and it matches my nail. Oh, hey, look at that. But this was on sale for like less than five dollars it was like four dollars or something a lot of like plain dresses that are cinched at the waist that I typically wear like leather belts with and I was like this would be really cute like just tied in a bow or like tie with it hanging down a little bit to cinch at the waist but it's not like a belt so it's a little different and a little more out there but I really like it and I definitely could see someone wearing this preppy or wearing this like totally boho ish you could even wear it as a headband which would be cute but um, I don't know, I really liked this and it was super cheap. So I was like, why not? It'll force me to be crafty. <laughs> so the last thing I got are these. They are the J. Crew Chino shorts. I have these in mint as well as the neon pink color. This material is so much thicker and so much nicer than the other ones. These were on sale for $35, which is a little hefty for shorts. But because these are so... I don't know, they're such a cute color. They remind me of uh, Lily Pulitzer Green. <laughs> I'm not preppy by any means, but um, I think Lily Pulitzer stuff is just like, I don't know, I love looking online there. It's just like adorable things, but I love this Kelly Green color. These are really cute, and the cut and the fit of them definitely makes them a lot more appropriate as opposed to like torn up the high-waisted Forever 21 ones that I have. I definitely think investing in like an appropriate these are like they're short but they are not like a skin tight like hooker hoochie fit they're really cute yeah I really like these they're just like a, such a fun color that's gonna be really cute for spring and summer and I really like it okay guys and that is all I got for my San Francisco haul Frisco. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you guys later <sighs> goodbye I look totally naked were you guys proud of me I didn't even look in the viewfinder that much Who doesn't it?